Boston was once a beautiful city. It was like a shining light on a hill to help spark a revolution that would shake tyrants all over the world. Within Boston, a lot of steps were taken to free this nation from tyranny. We have the, the Boston Tea Party and very important events that took place there. Now, Boston has become a horrific example of what happens when a nation no longer can recognize the difference between freedom and tyranny. Boston itself has now become an example to global elites that America is ready for martial law. In the search for one suspected terrorist, many, many armed policemen in body armor with battle vehicles shut down an entire city for a day as they went door to door, kick, uh, forcing open doors, pulling people out of their houses, and holding them at gunpoint while they searched their homes without warrants. And then afterwards, they could not even find him. They got a tip from somebody else after the shutdown or martial law was declared over, over, and he was on a boat. He wasn't even in the city. Just showing that all their efforts were futile, futile. So this leads us to other ideas. The question here is not whether um, the, the, the Boston bombing, mass, uh, Marathon Massacre uh, was a false flag or real. Because that, th in this question it doesn't matter. The point is, is that people were willing to have their entire city shut down in order to feel secure. People who give up their uh, freedom for security deserve neither. Afterwards, the people of city celebrated in the streets. They celebrated of the captured man, but it was really a celebration saying yay because of the uh, that the we're, all, we're okay with martial law you have the, the the videos that are coming out of Boston of police pulling people out of their homes and uh, holding them at gunpoint while they search their house all of which was done without warrants This is a horrible loss for our nation this day. As we study more about Boston, we must come to a realization that we as a nation are ready and willing to accept martial law and the destruction of our constitution. So, as we uh, think about this, let's, oh yeah, another thing that this whole event showed us is that the police are willing to go along and violate constitutional law in order to, to fulfill martial law requirements. Is there one police officer that stood up and said, hey, I'm not going to go door to door searching people randomly with no warrant inside their homes? I don't hear one report of that. 
So now we know that those in that position are willing to follow whatsoever orders they are given. If this is a false flag event or just a test run to see how people would react, how would they interpret all these things? People are willing to go along with uh, martial law if it's to protect themselves. Officers are willing to violate constitutional law in order to, to, to get the job done. Uh, Americans are happy with this decision and we'll be able to do this again. Now, if they were willing to shut down an entire city for one man, what would they be willing to do if it's a large-scale event? Like, let's say another 9-11 happens or we have a nuclear bomb threat. So Boston has become the horrendous example to the global elites that we are ready for their for their events that they're gonna do. So the best way I say is to start to prepare in a calm, uh, intelligent way for what will surely fall upon us because of this. And uh, this is Ben Thompson with uh, Free Citizens of America. Thank you for taking time to watch this video. Uh, please subscribe and share our messages.